So in this video, I'm going to show you how to put the data into a frequency table. So let's say I want the, um, the cylinder data into a table, into a frequency table. So I'm going to go to stats, we're going to go to tables, we're going to go to frequency. So it's a frequency table. So here's a cylinder, and then that's it. I'm going to click on compute, and there it is. And it's 32. So you got 11 four cylinder cars, seven six cylinder, 14 eight cylinders, and it gives you the relative frequencies. If you add the relative frequencies, it should give you 100. But let's say I'm going to click on option and edit. Let's say I choose one of these more, um, you know, this data that has uh, decimals, or, you know, is it harder for it to do tables? Well, let's see. Let's click on miles per gallon, and then click on compute, and it's going to give me an, um, a, a, a warning, you know. It says, uh, whoa, lots of unique numerical values for miles per gallon want to turn on uh, binning for this procedure yes so um, so instead of uh, kind of like a frequency table where you have one value and then how many of those values you have this one turns out more like a range so between 10 through 15 you get five you have um, you have five of these numbers um, here from 20 to 25 you have eight of them and it gives you the relative frequency so this is how you would do your frequency table